This time, we're going to have to bounce back to our raw materials because even though we are in August, remember the assumption is that in a cash flow, we're going to, we're going to, all the purchases we made in July, we're going to pay for in August. So that's why this number here is what we're going to pay for in August. And we have to jump back here and pull that number. So just uh, be careful there that we're always kind of a month off here because we're talking about cash flow which is different than purchases when we purchased it. All the rest of it's gonna be the same. So same. this is coming from the same area we have to jump back, same area we have to jump back and pull these same numbers out. So same process in these items here. And then we're gonna say we have dividends. So we're, this problem is gonna make an assumption that we did pay dividends or we're going to pay dividends, we're planning on paying dividends in August. So that's going to be this 10,000 that we would have to add to our budget, our assumption cash dividends in this case. And we don't have the interest on the loan because we paid it off last time. And we still have the 5,000 interest on the long term loan. And then if we added all these up, if we added all these up, we would get to the 445,060. And then if we subtract this out, the five 78 591 minus the cash disbursements 44560 uh, we come up to the 133 531 and of course we don't have to pay off the loan we're over our minimum balance of 40 so we're not going to have any loan adjustment there and we can just pull that number down and that's our ending balance for the month of august that then will be of course the beginning balance for september so here's the beginning balance for September. Same process. We'll go through it even a bit faster. So we're going to pull all these numbers over. This came from the same place as this. If we add these two up, we then come up with this, the 607,531. Then we're going to have the disbursements. Once again, this is going to come from the same place that we pulled this out. Just remember that you got that timing difference in terms of when we received it as opposed to when we purchased it. These are just going to be pulled over in a similar fashion. Same all the way down. We don't have the dividends this time because that's going to be a separate assumption we're going to have to make. Book problems going to have to give it to us. Real life, we're going to have to make the assumption. No interest on the short-term loan. We still have the 5000 on the long-term loan. And now we're going to assume that we had a purchase of equipment of 130000 So we're going to assume that we're going to purchase equipment in September, 130000 That 130 only represents the cash disbursement because we're talking about the cash disbursements here. So we have that item, and then if we add all these up, then we're adding all these up. We're getting the 575,691, and that's going to be a preliminary balance of 31,840. And then we're going to have an adjustment because that 31,840 is below 